intention of today's Mass to remember all the peoples of the parish. I'd like to remember especially as well a beautiful little girl, you know, her name is uh, Philippa Blake, who is celebrating her third birthday today. And at the same time, her mom and dad, you know, uh, Christopher and Ruth, are celebrating their wedding anniversary. Uh, the family who, uh, before I came over here, you know, I received into the church. Wonderful family, especially Philippa. I can imagine her now with a beautiful smile on her face. Remember, please, to, during the Mass today, all those people who are in hospital who are uh, going through this uh, coronavirus uh, pandemic. Remembering as well all the nurses, the doctors, the care workers, and those people who look after those who are isolated in their home. We pray that God will always be there near them to comfort them. And today as well is the feast day of St. Philip Neri, a priest and the founder of the oratory. The love of God has been poured into our hearts through the Spirit of God dwelling within us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who never cease to bestow the glory of holiness on the faithful servants, you raised up for yourself, graciously grant that the Holy Spirit may kindle in us that fire with which he wonderfully filled the heart of St. Philip Neri. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. I want you to be happy, always happy in the Lord. I repeat, what I want is your happiness. Let your tolerance be evident to everyone. The Lord is very near. There is no need to worry. But if there is anything you need, pray for it asking God for it, with prayer and thanksgiving. And that peace of God, which is so much greater than we can understand, will guard your hearts and your thoughts in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers, fill your minds with everything that is true, everything that is noble, everything that is good and pure, everything that we love and honor, and everything that can be thought virtuous or worthy of praise. Keep doing all the things that you learned from me, and have been taught by me, and have heard or seen that I do. Then the God of peace will be with you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Responsorial Psalm 
I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times, his praise always on my lips. In the Lord my soul shall make its boast, the humble shall hear and be glad. I will bless the Lord at all times. Glorify the Lord with me, together let us praise his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me, from all my terrors he set me free. I will bless the Lord at all times. Look towards him and be radiant. Let your faces not be abashed. This poor man called, the Lord heard him, and rescued me from all his distress. I will bless the Lord at all times. The angel of the Lord is encamped around those who revere him to rescue them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. He is happy who seeks refuge in him. I will bless the Lord at all times. Reveal the Lord, you his saints. They lack nothing, those who revere him. Strong lions suffer, want, and go hungry. But those who seek the Lord lack no, uh, no blessing. I will bless the Lord at all times. The Gospel Acclamation <coughs> Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me, with me in him, bears fruit in plenty. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus raised his eyes to heaven and said, Holy Father, I pray not only for these, but for those also who through their words will believe in me. May they all be one. Father, may they be one in us. As you are in me and I am in you, <clears throat> so that the world may believe it was you who sent me. I have given them the glory you gave to me, that they may be one as we are one, with me in them and you in me. May they be so completely one, that the world will realize it was you who sent me, and that I have loved them as much as you loved me. Father, I want those you have given me to be with me where I am, so that they may always see the glory you have given me. Because you loved me before the foundation of the world. Father, righteous one, the world has not known you, but I have known you, and these have known that you have sent me. I have made your name known to them, and will continue to make it known, so that the love with which you love me may be in them, and so that I may be in them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus gave us this order to every individual, whether you are a priest, a bishop, or a lay person, to go and to proclaim his words. And Philip, St. Philip Mary, did that, of the love that he has shown to all those people whom he had, uh, had met in his life. How he looked after the uh, uh, young people as well in Rome when he was a priest, and how much he really loved as well Our Lady. At the same time, you know, he went through difficulties as well. And it's wonderful to know that we have a beautiful order in one way for the oratory. All the priests who follow the example of St. Philip, Philip Mary. You don't need to be an oratorian to follow the example, uh, to follow the example of St. Philip. Today as well we are asked 
when we read from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. You know, to keep asking the Lord, but not only just asking, but even asking in thanksgiving. Prayer and thanksgiving is very, very important in our life. Many times in our life, we, when we pray to God, we uh, pray prayers of petitions. And sometimes in prayer, we do not include, you know, thanksgiving for what He has given us. When we need something, we always seem to turn to the Lord. And then when we get what the Lord gives us what we need, we seem to forget very easily. What God wants from us is to give Him thanks as well. Because everything we have, St. Philip realized that, everything we have, all the gifts that we've been given by God, it's not only just to be kept for us, but it's to share them with other people. We wouldn't be anything if God is not there. Jesus is the one who told us how to follow the Lord. He turned to his Father and he asked him as well that those who have believed in him, that they will be with him in heaven. And sometimes I do find it difficult when people can't accept Christ in their hearts. The word, the word that is going today, most of them even though sometimes there are born Christians still do not know who Jesus is. They still do not accept Him as being the Lord, the God, the Son of God, the one who has died for us, rose for us, and this Sunday coming is the one as well who sends us the Holy Spirit. Let us then, as we look through all, sometimes when we have time and we, we, we have some books about saints, of to show us how they lived their life, how they came so close to Christ. Example of St. Philip is a wonderful thing. So remember once I saw this uh, film, you know, how simple in one way he was, how loving he was to people. How he brought together all the young people running around all over the place in Rome. And then how he made them realize how much they are loved by God. So as St. Paul told us, told the Philippians, and he's telling us even today, you know, he said, he wants us to be happy. I want, what I want, he said, is your happiness. And that is what God wants from us, our happiness, accepting everything from Him. Good things, bad things that come to us, we all have some crosses to bear. But we accept everything from God because we know that God will never abandon us. So during Mass, as I said during Mass today, let us continue to remember those people who have lost their loved ones through the pandemic and other, and even not with, with the pandemic, who did not have this opportunity to come together in the church to celebrate the life of the person they have lost. But I know that God was with them before they died. So we give thanks to the Lord that loves us so much and continue to pray for these people that God will send uh, you know, something to a cure for this uh, pandemic that's going on all over the world. May the love of God continue to be within us and may St. Uh, uh, Philip Mary continue to be an example for all of us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, which will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine you offered, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. As we offer you the sacrifice of praise, O Lord, we ask that by the example of Saint Philip, we may always give ourselves cheerfully for the glory of your name, and the service of our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Philip Mary, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy, or his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we are claimed. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew for them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-hers to eternal life and may praise and glorify you 
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other now, as you standing there in your home, just give the sign of peace to each other, the peace of Jesus that comes to everybody. You know, that we, when we give there, we give it with love. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Thank you, Jesus, for coming within our hearts. And thank you for all the love that you have for us. Thank you as well for making us your followers. And help us to follow your example, 
to speak your words to everyone whom we meet in our life. We ask you, sweet Jesus, with a special blessing today to all the families who are gathered together in prayer, to all those people who are in hospital who need your help and your blessings, to all the doctors and nurses, to all the care workers, to all those people who are so kind, who go to bring even food to all food to those who are isolated in their homes. Send your Holy Spirit as we are waiting for the day of Pentecost this Sunday to every individual that the gifts of the Spirit will come inside us. We pray our Lord as well that this pandemic will very soon will be over. Find a vaccine to those people and help us, sweet Lord, to continue to believe in you because you are the way, the truth, and the life. communion and the book. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that in imitation of Saint Philip, we may always long for the food by which we truly live, through Christ the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God.